Hi and welcome everybody, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk and I'm so happy that you came and joined me today and that you're going to be watching my video. So after the success of Saturday where I stamped a whole 12 by 12 in a very, very detailed way and ended up making something really super grungy, it just reminded me how much I love kind of layered upon and layered upon pattern and I've been kind of like itching and dreaming to have a go again but this time a much more masculine sort of more grun even more grungier kind of effect and also my husband's been playing again and he's going to come on later and basically turn this piece of paper then into a card so we've prepped a few little things for him um, somewhere I did have some circles cut out ready to make a card so he's going to come back in in about half an hour after I've finished doing this and then we're going to make a card together okay so hi everybody who's coming in and watching the live really great to have you with me and if it's your first time ever on my channel please do say hello in the comments it's always great to hear from different people no matter where you come from in the world um it's just so much fun to be able to meet people internationally on YouTube. Um, you know, it's just just great. Just broadens our horizons, makes us think a bit wider. Okay, I'll just grab some ink colours off the shelf. I've got soft suede here. I'm going to just lay down... Actually, I think I want something lighter than soft suede. I'm just going to go for something else. Hold on. Um, I think I'll go for crumb cake first to get a bit of a just some pattern down and then we're going to go from there so this is going to end up super duper grungy because this is going to make a background so this is a 12 by 12 piece of dsp designer series paper that's what stampin up called their scrapbook paper so it's archival you can use this for scrapbooking you want it's not going to fade in your scrapbooks it's not going to damage your photographs it's um, acid and lignin free so um, it's really good stuff good paper it's also got a really nice weight to it so if you ever want to make bags or boxes um, okay not super sturdy boxes but if you ever want to make you know a lightweight box then this stuff is really good it's not thin like copy paper or anything like that and, oops oh well we'll go with it <laughs> i didn't mean to drop it but never mind we're just getting some color and shapes down so i'm not worried i think i'm gonna have to like just do that now aren't i <laughs> hi everybody Nice to see you. Hi Amanda, hi Linda, hi Martina. So I'm saying hello to people who are watching on the live because this is a live broadcast. I say broadcast, it makes me sound like I'm um, in a broadcasting corporate corporation or something, doesn't it? But, um, okay, so I want to just get loads and loads of texture down. So I'm going to try and stamp as quickly as possible because we've got this big space to cover so I've got some and that's K so everyone K is in blue I don't know if you've noticed when she writes it's in blue that's because she's an administrator on my channel so um, please do um, say hello so if anyone misbehaves you see K has the power to boot people out did you know that <laughs> Kay's also able to put up links and things for me if I need them. So that's why I have her do that for me, which I'm so grateful for. I'll come and say a better hello to everybody. I'm just trying to get as much colour down. Hold on, let me see if I get my screen up so I can see you guys. So I don't know if you caught me say earlier, Tom's going to be on later. He's got a finish off these cards that I'm going to make I'm making the background paper for now he's going to come on Kay's hall monitor <laughs> yeah best behave guys oh dear I'm really like all fingers and thumbs today oh 
Okay, what else did I grab out? This one. So this is early espresso, so we've used crumb cake, soft suede, and now we're going to be using some early espresso. So this is an even darker brown, and this is such a great texture, it's like a basket weave effect. Let's get in a bit closer, can you see the detail guys? So the paper I'm stamping on, it has already got a wood grain on it. So it kind of helps really. Oh, thanks, Nessa. Yeah. Thumbs up are just a free way to help me grow my channel. Did you know that? It's just a way for YouTube to know that you guys like my content. And another free way also to help me is just to comment afterwards, after the live, or if you've watched this, you know, after the fact. So it's Monday the 5th tonight. Have I got that right? The 5th? Yes, I have. So if you're watching this after the 5th of October 2020, then just leave a comment if you like what I'm doing, you know. So I think in the stamping world, not the stamping up world, but the stamping world, this technique is kind of called collage stamping where you're mixing and matching uh, stamp sets and just building up your own picture from a collection of stamps so although it looks like I'm just trying to cover the whole page I do want areas where some bits are more busy and some bits are quieter so I am going to try and do that so I'm tapping furiously because I want this this image to really um, show up. It's a virtual hug of sorts. Oh, that's a nice way of putting it. Yes, it's your way of kind of giving me a, a safe, safely distanced hug. <laughs> yeah. And another free way to help me that... Uh, that would be absolutely brilliant is actually sharing this with your friends so if you've come here today and you've gone oh, wow that's a really exciting way of stamping that's a new way of stamping I've not seen that before and I've got a friend who would love that please just you know press that share button so the share button is usually like one with an arrow on it and it means then you can share it to whatever social media you have on your device so it's a great way just to invite people also you can do that now if you know that somebody is just hanging out at home not doing much right now and you think that they might enjoy hanging out with you and me and oh nearly 40 other people right now watching this then do go ahead and invite your friends so Hi Denise, so if you want to get notified of me going live then you need to hit the bell button. You also can follow me on my Facebook page, so I've got a Facebook page called Artful Stampin' and I also have a Facebook group called Artful Stampin' Space. So if you follow those places you should get a little notification on your device if you follow those groups and you say that you want to be notified of everything. So I know sometimes we switch those little things off because we get a bit, you know, we don't want the pings. But, you know, switch them on for the things that are important to you, you know. So enjoyed the Zoom marathon on Saturday. Oh, good. Yeah, so for World Card Making Day, we had a bit of a crazy Zoom marathon, which went over 24 hours because, of course, we were from all around the world. So we were, we started in Australia, which was Saturday morning, 12 o'clock in the morning, my time. And then I, we kept, I went to bed, then got up and then carried on and then... And then it, I think, I believe it went on even longer. So in the end, it was something like 36 hours or something. So 
I thought it would be nice at some point that, to do a zoom with my Artful Stampin' peeps. So I might pick a Saturday in the next couple of months and, and do that. The other thing I've been thinking about is doing a retreat in a box type thing. So if you live in the UK or France, Germany, uh, France, Germany, Holland and... Austria, I am thinking of doing a an event where you buy a kit from me and then you get to Zoom with me all day and you get to watch the videos that I would have filmed to make things from that kit that I'm going to put together. And you get, you know, obviously get a real lovely kit and you get to... Oh, you also have access to the videos that I film forever type thing and then so you can watch those videos again and then obviously you're going to be making some really lovely things so I have been thinking about what I'm going to do and I've designed a couple of bags and some card ideas and I was thinking that also I would give you a choice as to of two colour schemes so so if anyone's in the UK or in Europe and would be interested in that type of thing where you know I provide a kit for you and then you get to hang out with me zooming and watching my tutorials and then also being able, able just to check in with me and go okay well what did you mean by that or whatever then let me know I mean it's going to be the, de the design that I have in mind are very me if that makes sense so if you like my style which I would say is kind of shabby chic floral um, classic design beautiful <laughs> you know I love my pretties um, that kind of thing then if you'd like to have a whole day of creating with me um, then do let me know what you think about that in the comments because I've been having a think and trying to think of what I can provide for people who would love to kind of do a you know class with me like a retreat type thing but because of you know what we can't do that right now and it makes it really tricky to meet up and be in the same building as each other so I thought well if the second best thing is to stay at home in our pyjamas and just craft together so um, I may offer a international access option so you won't get any product but um, I may do an option where if you are outside of my region you can have access to the videos I got my cut and emboss machine today. Oh, how exciting, Denise. That's brilliant. Yes, that was shaded spruce. Yeah, depending on the costing and our financial, I'd love to. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. There is a much shorter description to your star booth, at least in my mind. Sophisticated. Thank you, Martina. That's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the moment... um. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at all the different options for costings and it kind of depends on... Yeah, I was looking at doing at least two options, if not three. So, for example, if you've already got certain things, it means that it will be a cheaper option. Um, so, I'll think. Oh, thank you, Vicky. You said Vicky super chatted me. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, did everyone see that? So when you see someone do a, like a little sticker or a blue line or something like that, it means that I've been super chatted. So that means someone has kindly gifted me. It's like a tip, really. You know, it's kind of saying, good job. Keep going. That's the way I see it anyway. So... If you ever want to um, tip me and you prefer to do it via PayPal, then I do have a PayPal me button as well. So, PayPal take less money off me than YouTube. Just saying. 
Also, if you super chat me or PayPal support me or purchase anything from me, then the following month you get a free extra video. And most of you guys who've done that in September have just had your new vi your video today, haven't you? So let me know what you think of it. And so I used some brand new stamp sets to me and I'm going to be using those in the next few few weeks. So, so. Hi Sheila! Would love an international option. Okay Monica. You can't buy products. I know because you're a demonstrator yourself Vicky. Yeah. Yeah, so the international option, guys, if, if I was to do that, would be I would just make a list of all the products that um, you would ideally need to have. And then I will just charge you to come in on the um, to have access to the videos. Now, it might be that I I can't I'll just have to do the Zoom for European time. And if you can make some of the at those hours and you're welcome to. But that would just be like a bonus. So. Thank you, guys. Right, I'm really pleased how this is turning out. I'd like it a bit more grungier, though. I want more grunge. More grungy, more grungy. I don't know whether to get a bit of... I don't know, something a bit zingier, a bit brighter. I don't know whether to bring in some orange. With some splotches. Because to me, it's looking slightly girly and shabby, and I didn't want it to look that way, really. I want it to be a bit more grungy. So, if you prefer it more girlier, then you ca you carry on. But I think I want it to be more grungy. So, I've got this, what's this? Grey granite. I'm just putting some kind of streaks of grey granite through this. Just Tom like orange. Mm. He's not very confident with colours. He'd rather be told you're doing it this colour. Um. Actually, just padding the ink pad down is quite good. I know it's Masculine Monday, so grungy it up. Yeah, that's right. No, what about maybe putting some dark reds? That might be. I've just I've just cut up some little bits for him actually. I'm trying to find them. Oh, here they are. So I've already. So the plan is we're going to make some really simple cards. So we're going to cut this into pieces, and then he's going to stamp something onto these, and then we're just going to stick that in the middle like that. So that's that's the plan. So I I, I said I'd come on and just do some stamping ready for him so I've got the new emboss cutter and it's wonderful emboss cutter what what do you mean the emboss cutter Joanne do you mean the machine or do you mean a die I'm going to use this one the burlapy one my favourite type of cards. What's that, Nessa? Oh, I'm sending out thank you cards as well in the next couple of days. I've written them and written addresses, but I'm I'm off to the zoo tomorrow with May, so I'm afraid I won't have a chance to go to the post office tomorrow. Um, so it might be in the next day or so, next two days. Oh, masculine. There we go, it's getting there, getting there. Oh, you got the magnetic plate. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we were, we did have another activity planned. So in the UK, there's this thing called forest schools. And we were planning to go and do that. But because of 
restrictions in the area that the forest school was going to happen it meant that it couldn't go ahead but uh, the friends that we were going to go with uh, and meet up with we said oh should we just meet up anyway the weather doesn't look good for tomorrow though I have to say so I'm hoping they've opened up more areas in the zoo so we can at least get a bit of shelter uh, but we're just going to go to the zoo there's a fabulous view zoo in Chester and a few years ago on the BBC there was a whole there was a whole program about the making or the found, founding of the zoo it's really interesting okay that's a bit more grungy isn't it I think it's getting there Martina loves the magnetic plate it's cold and wet here in Melbourne Australia well there we go Jacqueline <laughs> it's like you're in Wales. You guys are liking that, are you? I think it needs some some grungy splatters. Now the only thing is about going reddish is that they look like blood, and I don't want them to look like blood. So whether to get the Mary Malo or Merlot. I keep getting cut hold off for the worst. Oh, what about Blackberry Bliss? Or Rich Razzleberry. I'm not sure that instead. Make it look like wine stains instead. Wine wine splatters. It's cold, wet and dark here in Wales. I know. And in a couple of weeks we've got daylight. What's it? Not savings. The other opposite way round, isn't it? We are putting the clocks back soon, aren't we? Mind you, it's not to the 1st of November, which is quite nice, because it usually is October, but... Whereas Linda is sweating like a pig in California. <laughs> it's a turn of phrase, it's not a description of Linda. Poor Linda has to have her air con on all the time. Oh, this is not Merlot, actually. This is Rich Razzleberry, guys. It might look like Merlot on your tablets and things, on your phones. But it's actually Rich Razzleberry. So give it a moment and it will, yeah. Yeah, you guys, you're, you're an hour further away from us now, Kerry. Yeah, I like it in the summer because it means that we're a little bit closer in time. But now it means that we're going to be further apart. Linda's like, yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, Marie's agreeing. <laughs> all the Californians are sweating. I tell you what, I thought it was just the British that spoke about the weather, but we... I think, I think it's a... Well, I think in nations where temperatures can be variable, we do tend to talk about it a bit more. Whereas in countries where the temperature is, or it's not a temperature, it's either wet or it's dry, you know, so, and they're crop dependent, or they're dependent on the weather for crops. I suppose that becomes a topic of conversation. Okay, so I'm just putting some of this, what I call mosaic type thing, just to add more interest to this. Uh, the splotch is from Painted Petals. Martina, it's this one here. Oh, who has seen Jennifer Maguire's video from today? I want to try her technique with the poppy, or the two poppies. It's just fab. It's a technique that I saw her do, where similar technique she did years ago, where she painted it in instead of uh, masking. And then I filmed a video kind of to create a similar technique where we use the glue, the fine tip glue pen to flood an area, to flood a, an image and then be able to ink stamp over the top of it. And Jennifer Maguire's just done one that's 
similar but using any dyes that can cut out flowers and things. Cindy had a quick look this morning. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, so what do you think, guys? Do you think this is coming along? I, think I might have to cut out some other another thing out of there. Maybe maybe a metallic. <gasps> a metallic would look nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I've got some copper. Oh, I've got plenty. Oh, no, I've got copper and... Oh, this is the brushed... This is the brushed um, stuff. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That would look cool. Okay. I'll ask him. See what he thinks when he comes in. See, I'm thinking that's that this is too textured now. I think just that with maybe a thin... Even a, a small circle of rich razzleberry might look good. Oh, well, we'll see what he stamps because, you know, Tom, he likes to surprise us with his funky creations. Right, Tom, yeah. do you want to have a look at what I've done? He'd probably come in and go, ooh, that's a bit girly, isn't it? putting some of these little dots together and putting these in. Your drink's here. What, is it there? Yeah. I left it there. I've got cold, haven't I? Where? You haven't got cold, have you? No, this has gone cold. Oh right. Tom no, Tom's taken to drinking hot hot lemon. Is that to cleanse your liver? Um, it's the only hot drink I sort of like. Yeah. Tea and coffee. Tea, I, I don't like much. Coffee is okay. Oh, chocolate's nice, but it's not not the best thing for you. No. Whereas hot water and lemon, better than hot water. Hmm. And it's not sucking a lemon, is it? It's not. Yeah, it's better than having a lemon on its own. It is. <coughs> There we go. Oh, there we go. Right, so that's your grungy background. Now, I, I was looking at this again thinking that's not really going to show up too well, so I might cut something else. But you've got your little circle there. Okay. So I'm going to go off and clean these. So I don't want to stamp on this on that. No, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'll cut this up for you now. So. Okay. Linda's drinking an iced coffee. There we go. I did buy some. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I like having, you know, those pa little packet drinks you get that sort of um, frap, uh, whatever, caramel mochaccino and things like that. You get them in a packet for Linda. Um, and uh, so I bought some of those, and then I realised when I got them home they were for frozen. They were like <laughs> iced coffee, but actually. They taste it tastes fine with hot water as well. well. What's the difference? I don't know if there is a difference. You do sound like you've got a cold. I hope you haven't got Ben's cold. I probably have a little bit of a cold. But also, hello, Christine. Uh, Cindy, hello. Um, oh, and Shirley on. and Linda. Yeah. Um, uh, and also, I was preaching and singing on Sunday. Oh, yeah. And sometimes my voice takes a day or so to recover from that. Right, so you're going to use right, your okay. your favourite stamp this. set again, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I'm just going to take a moment just to acclimatise and try and work out what I'm doing. Hello, Janine and Nessa and Christine. I, I think I've said hello to Christine already. Jacqueline. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, another Christine. Hello. Uh, yes, caramel. Oh, how do you get the caramel, Linda? Is that a separate sauce or something? Leftover coffee with coffee mate. That's a type of... Is that a powdered milk? It's the powdered Hello, creamer, yeah. Uh, more space monsters. Well, 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 do well. You want your... I need my bit of paper that I was practising on earlier. Where did I put it? Over here. Yeah. So I did a little bit of practice today. 
but don't assume that means it's going to come out looking good because I realized as well as practicing the uh, image hello everybody everyone's saying hello now too many people hello <laughs> but you got friends you now. can get the image right but you know your hands might not necessarily uh, get in the right place every time when doing the stamping right okay so we've got menagerie mix up um hmm. well, I've got your crib sheet oh yeah i've got my crib sheet but i don't want that going on camera because that will give things away you want? i think first of all let's um what about a uh a, a sort of a, a dark brown and a light brown should we do that one first should we have a go at that one mm -hmm. and, we've got a uh, mid brown there and you've okay got a... soft suede early espresso having talking about coffee uh and crumb cake too many choices i just need two so i'm gonna go with um dum, 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 dum. see i told you you're just at making a decision i am yeah <laughs> <laughs> i should just stick with one color shouldn't i but i'm gonna go for two i think <laughs> the eyes and the ears right let's uh let's just get started shall we so we were joking earlier and I said, right, what are you going to do? And he said, it's going to be like, he's going to get stamping and you've kind of got to guess what he's doing. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we said okay. it reminds us, if any of you in the UK remember a certain person called Rolf Harris before he, his fall from grace, fall from grace um, he used to do a show where he would start drawing and then he'd go, oh, what do you think it is, children? Um... If uh, I've noticed that the eyes aren't always stick, oh, they're, they're sticking okay now, but some of them aren't sticking so well. Need to, Need to clean it. Okay, I thought so. Is that because of dust? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, clean the backs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's today's tip. From... Well, you could lick them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let's get started. Right, so we are. What have you just done with my crib sheet? You it's moved right it out there. of the it's way. There. It's there. It's that oh, one. sorry. That's all right. So we're going to. Uh, we're going to go with this, and uh, yeah, you've you've got to kind of guess yeah, what you see think. See what uh, we're going to make. What you think? For me. Um, and where's that damp cloth? Thank you. So here we go. Happening. Why don't you just pass me the block and I'll do it? Okay. Um, I'm just struggling to keep up. Uh, let, me, let me see. Keep up What's with next? What? Yourself. What's next? So, next, we are going to use. What else do we need for this one? Oh, we need, uh, we need this. So, this is going to be a, a different use for this today. I don't think we've done this before. Yes, it says it looks like a bit of a duck. A bit of a duck. Uh, and um, we need, we need, oh, where's that bit with the curve and the, I can't see it, there it is. Okay, so we're going to use that one, uh, that one, that one, and then we're going to use this one, which I think is meant to be closed eyes. But we're not going to use it that way this evening, of course. And one more, we need the ears. Where are the ears? There we go. So we're going to use those little ears. Right, let's get started. So, um, we want this one. Uh, Leonard says, I think Tom's a little shy today. <laughs> Tom? I'm a little uh, nervous. I'm always a little nervous. Take a deep breath. There are less watching than during your sermon. Well, that is certainly true. Um, is that? I'm sure. <laughs> a Jerry Mouse. Well, you'll have to wait and see, won't you? You'll have to wait and see. So, the only thing I was going to ask you, Ruth, about mm -hmm. is. I said yes already. Um, well, that colour's not that different, but um, that's okay. That's all right. So, these are rehearsals, aren't they, really? Often I'm 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 stamping from the edge of the ink pad rather than. Yep, that's the juiciest bit. Oh, is that okay? Is it? Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to run out. No, it tends to run out in the middle first. 
Okay, so there we go. The ears are looking okay. Using these as ears. We used these as eyes, didn't we, last time for the uh, alien fly. We're a very supportive group. You are a very supportive group. That's very true. Thank you for everybody who left positive comments and uh, so on from the last video. This one's next. Let's do this one next. And I think we're going to go for the... I don't know. Let's go for the darker colour. Let's go. Yeah, let's go for the darker colour. It's a duck, says Jacqueline. It's not a duck. Mm. This might give it away. So there's one. I almost wiped that on the ink pad. It wouldn't have been good, would it? And uh, okay, now we're going to use this. And uh, I think we're going to use the lighter one. You may have thought it was a frog. Well. Piggy? A bear? Well, could it be a frog? I don't think so. No, not a frog but, at all. Well, let me just get that off. But you never know. There'll be a frog later. Don't want to give it away. There we go. Of course, the problem is if I finish this and none of them, nobody guesses what it is. That's not, that's not a great thing. But uh, oh, we I need eyes. Something. We need eyes. A I bear? Know. No, it's not a bear. Although it could look like a bear. Maybe dragon. Um. Hippo, not a hippo. It's an alien Luke Skywalker friend. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe. It could says like Helen. <laughs> I like it. Tell you what, I should aim to make a, a baby Yoda, shouldn't I? <gasps> yes. That would be cool. Still a hippo. You know what, I'm we should rather than having a guess, we should just take a vote. <laughs> Here we go. And uh, now we're just going to give him a little smile. So we're going to use these eyes. And again, just using the, the corner. A pig. Hi, Tanya from New Zealand. There you go. So there's... there's uh, now, to me, you see, to me, <laughs> that looks like... Let's get a bit closer. <laughs> it looks like... I think it looks like a little monkey. But... Um... A calf? <laughs> And I thought this group was supportive. <laughs> but anyway, so there you go. It could be the nose isn't... Well, I don't know, actually. It looks to me like a little monkey. But uh, anyway, there you go. That's my first little animal. You, you can you can say what it, whatever you want it to be, really. Um, or if you think you can take that idea, maybe if you've got the stamp set, you can make it look more like a monkey. Maybe his ears need to be bigger. I don't know. What stamp do you think that would look... Like you could, oh, we could send that to your nephew, or my nephew. It was his birthday the yeah, other day. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. It, it's yeah, monkey, monkey works. I think maybe the ears could be bigger. Um, Have you got a bigger ear you could use? Uh, yeah, there are bigger ears, but they look a bit like mouse ears, I think. But um, it's all open to interpretation. But uh, it's close enough, isn't it? It's close enough, and it's definitely a little funny little animal. So actually, if you put it with the other creatures on that card that we, we made. No, I wasn't, no. Um, unless you've got an idea. Uh, but certainly that could go on that card and people go, oh, it's a funny little animal. Mm -hmm. So that's my, uh, that's my first one. It's the yeah, it could shape. be the head shape maybe, yeah. That's the one thing about this uh, stamp set is that, I mean, yeah, there's only so much you can fit, isn't there? it could do with a big circle and I'm sure you can get that on other stamp sets but the challenge here is not to use other stamp sets uh, but just to do the best with, with what, what, what we've got so that's my first little animal for this evening what can I say it can only get better <laughs> well, you're not going to. Are you doing an animal again? Or, oh yes. Oh, oh yeah, yes, we're doing. Yes, we're yes, doing yes. more. We're oh, doing more. I've got another animal. I've you? got a little one uh, which might need this. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, just so. about. Okay. Do you want grey for that one then? Yes, please. Two shades of grey. 
<laughs> Just two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's uh, yeah. That's as much as you can do on a on a show like this. Two shades, great. Right, two shades. Uh, have you got another shade? There we go. Okay, so we're going to do something now. We're going to make something that uh, you know. I'm not into Halloween at all, but it could be you want to make a make a creature for a a card that's uh, maybe not a Halloween card, but like in that season of things. Uh, so I can't see which ones. That, look on, oh, darling. I look, turned them that yeah. way so you could see. So that's light. Oh, it's, and yeah, that's but it's dark. The, the light is shining off it, so I can't. That's uh, right. It's right. So let's go for. Let's go for the lighter on the outside, or the darker. Oh man, I'm terrible at choices. Uh, I think, let's just do it. It's a family show, that's right. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so again, now I've already given you some clues, but uh, you might, uh, want to yeah as we go along see uh, see what you think see if you can guess so that's the only time we're going to use that shape and i tell you what we're going to use this evening for this one is the tail okay the little tail uh and i'll show you in a minute how we're going to do that but first of all i'm going to find all the little bits that we need so we need the eyes again as usual in fact those dots are incredibly useful um and then we need some ears and we're going to have pointy ears because I think again this is my interpretation of this uh, this creature uh, so we're going to need that and we're going to need that but I'm not going to tell you what for yet and we're going to need the tusks 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 that's what my teacher used to say when she looked at my work uh, here we go tusk 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 and Oh, that, that shape again, that one we used for the monkey. So again, <laughs> it's going to look a little weird. And that little tail. Where's the little tail? There we go. Look at that. A little tail, but not for a tail. Okay, so let's do the ears first. Let's get uh, start from the top, work our way down. So these ears are quite close together. So we're going to do them separately, one at a time. This one and uh, probably afterwards I'll look at these and go oh, I could have done that differently but it's all about having a try and I tell you what the major success tonight will be if I don't get inky fingers on, uh, <laughs> on what I make because usually that's what happens okay now we're going to do some eyes because it's no that's no secret is it I think I just got a bit, there we go, let's get rid of that. Working out the best, these are sort of I best. I tend to say you haven't had fun if you haven't got inky fingers. Here we go. One. Two. Oh, here we go. Uh, right. Next up, this one. So this is going to give us a, a bit of an unusual little mouth, <laughs> an unusual nose. But what can you do? What can you do? You, I kind of wish this this curve was on its own. Um, oh, that's a little bit off there, isn't it? Darn. I should start again, Ruth, and quickly do that. It's just a little bit off centre. Is it? What's off centre? Oh, that's all right then. Um, and now, oh, what was that? Warthog? That's a good guess, actually. That's an interesting suggestion. Now I'm going to use these, but these are a bit too long. These are going to be fangs. They're a bit too long. And so, how did I do this? I think I just do that's 
a bit too much. This might take me a, an attempt or two. So I'm just going to do the lower half of this. Ah, that's not quite in the right place, but never mind. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to be all right. And this really is uh, doing the other side now. There you go. <laughs> ah, look at that. Vampire bat. Yes, good guess. Good guess. Well done. That is uh, what we're making. We're making a vampire bat. So now we're going to give him some wings. Oh, you know what? I've just used the same shade, haven't I, the whole time, but that's okay. Uh, so now we're going to give him a wing up here. Like that. And swap over to the other one. Turn that round that way, because we want that to go there, don't we? And then you're probably wondering, what's he going to do with that tail? There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. I know, he's cute, isn't he? But what are we going to do with this tail? Well, look at this. Look at this. We want... We want our bat to fly, don't we? So we're going to use just that end of the tail to make his wings wobble. There you go. <laughs> uh, how's that look? I did try putting the wings under there as well, but I don't know if that's too much. What do you think, Ruth? The vibration lines. Should I put them under the wings as well as on top? Yeah. Is that with the light grey, is it? No, or it's or with the same colour kind of grey, yeah. Oh, should have the white. Yeah, I should have changed. Don't push that. When you push too hard, you distort the line. Ah, uh, okay. So just, it's, probably... about, it's about holding it there, but not pushing down too hard. Pushing down harder than that. Well, yeah, you did. You did at an angle. That's why. Okay. And you put it right on the edge, so it's really difficult for you to tell what you're doing. Is that? Well, there you go. The idea is there, isn't it? Practice, 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 practice. Make so better. So I'm thinking just to make this a bit more interesting around the edge. Maybe yeah. you could just stamp some texture around the edges of these. Hmm. Or do you want me to just sponge it or something? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I, you want me to do that? You, you can. I'm happy to do it. I just don't uh, I don't know what stamping texture around the edge really involves. Well, I was just going to sponge. I'll sponge some. If you do one, I can probably then work out. Just hold it. And just... Uh, so, uh, 100 points to who, whoever it was. Got Vampire back first. Hello everybody, who's just joining, if anyone's just joining. Also, oh, they're saying hello to each other, aren't they? No, they're saying hello to my mum. Oh, hello, me. Okay, oh wow, yes. Yes, yeah. you like yeah. that, do you? That, that, that is a definite good thing. Is it? Um, have you got a tiny little banana stamp? That would then definitely be a... Can't you make a banana? Um, I haven't, no, I don't think so. I think next we're going to make right, something. Right, dab that on there. Yeah, sorry. And then you hold this, yeah. and then you just brush away from you, to okay. just down the, down the edge. Oh, yes, Shirley, definitely. Okay. Well, I've got to say, how's, how's, mm, yeah, is that okay? Um, okay, so we've done two. Let's get these out of the way. And now we're going to do something. <laughs> and I tell you the colour, you'll probably know straight away what it's going to be. We need... Yes, Mayor, Helen, Helen and Stamp... Uh, 
Stump and Star Creations Estos. My sister too. <laughs> look at that. Okay, we're going to... Are we st oh, am I making a card? Proper no, no, card. no, I'm just showing you what they oh, look okay. like. Ah. Okay. You can imagine one up there and one down there, couldn't you? What, and a like bat? A, yeah. Have one there and then one yeah. there, yeah. What is it they say? Thanks for the memories? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, oh, next up, we're going back to this shape here. Hi, Liz. Uh, so we're getting the animals and creatures out of the way. And we're moving on to some other types of faces. What could I mean? Well, you have to wait and see. Now, for this one, we're going to be using the uh, birthday present. But first of all, I could do with um, a green. A green. I'm just going to go for one green because I forget to use more than one colour at a time. Okay. That's Mossy Meadow. Mossy Meadow. So we're going to get some green. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do with this green, green we're going to we're going to do something really. Hi, Janine. Uh, we're going to give this person a smile. Okay, uh, Deborah. Nice to see you. There we go. Nice little smile. And then we're going to use. Oh, I should have given you a different green. Never mind. Uh, we're going to use this again. Again, we're going to make some eyes. And we're going to do one. You know what? I should have put him a little bit lower. Um, you know what? We're going to start again because we need something up here. What I'm going to do, look at this clever stamping technique. Turn it over. <laughs> we won't mention it. Frog. Yeah, you got it. Yep. But what are we going to use that for? That's the question. That's the tricky question. So we're going to put him down there. And then we want to give him a smile. Because he's got something on his mind. we go yeah um, here we go so we can now we're going to go for the eyeball again yeah mm -hmm. one there Looks good, Dad. That's from Ethan. <laughs> Tell him it's bedtime. What's he still doing up? Okay, here we go. Now we need the eyes. We always need the eyes. Oh, Sue Boo says, use it as a bookmark. Read it, read it. <laughs> One. Well, it makes all the difference where you put the eyeball, doesn't it? Okay. And what do you think he's looking at? I need a uh, dark, dark grey, please. Or black. Thank you. And this one's a tricky one. Very tricky. This is a tricky one. So we just want. Right, it's lunchtime, and uh, I didn't try this before actually. But we're gonna do a red tongue. No, I don't think I'm gonna do a tongue. I couldn't get a tongue to look good. Uh, we're going to ah. Ah. 
There we go. Not quite right, but. Uh... You can just do a little dot for it. So that was meant to be a little bit closer and give a little bit more of a curve to its flight. So it did look like it was flying along. But there you go. There you have the idea. Froggy looking to make <laughs> looking to make a friend. Uh, right. What about? And um, you could. I did think about using this tail this for a tongue. tongue. Yeah. But. I, I think you read it. But... You think it would? You think? Maybe just a yeah. Let's try it. Let's go for it. The fly's not perfect, so just don't push down too hard. Let's put those over there. Get the eyes out of the way. Thank you. I think less is more when it comes to the tongue. So let's. What not to make it too. Long. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. So, there you have it. Right, I've done put some green on there for okay. you. Okay. So. Uh, right. Whoa. 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 So will you actually send these cards, Tom, anywhere? Um, that's a good question. There you go. Um, will I send them? I might do. I might remake them, to be honest. I might look at these and go, OK, I just need to improve that a little bit and get that right. Right, are you going to do anything else? Yes, I am. Yeah, oh, do you want me, do you want me to? I've, I've got more. Goodness. Just Speaking putting those out of the way. marathon tonight. Okay. Right, so that's the creatures out of the way, the animal type things. Next up, we're going to need uh, another two of those. Mm. So I've got three ideas. My word. And uh, the last two are uh, showstoppers. Are they? You know, they may stop the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we need uh, two. Oh, we need grey. I'm just going to go for grey. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to keep it simple, and uh, I'm going to use this one. So we get that out of the way, and we're going to use this, which I think is a hat, isn't it? That way round, but we're going to use it that way round. Drawing it straight. Uh, and then we're going to use, I think these are meant to be a snout. Uh, and then, but we're not going to use it as a snout. And then we're going to use that tail again. We're going to use that tail. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where's that little tail? tail with the oh there it is down in the corner there we go so there's one and we're going to use one more which is the uh one of these we're going to use one of those not both of them just one okay so this is a this is a head that you might think of putting on that type of mix and match card because this is quite a unique little character that uh you might not expect to make from this Take care, Maya. Stamp set. Good night. Um, da there we go. Damp cloth. Uh, now we're going to use the balloon. And the balloon we're going to use, we're going to put there. So we don't want the whole of the balloon. A bit more than that. I'm just going to bring that down here. It's quite difficult to see it. At the angle. Yeah, that's okay.
There we go. Look at that. That was perfect. I thought I was going to be in the wrong place then. One, two, three. Snoopy. No, no. Although that nose, that could be, couldn't it? That little, that little circle down there could be a nose, dog nose. Didn't think of that. Uh, but no, this is um, this is a. Uh, well, you could probably see it's uh, it's not an animal. There we go. This is a little robot. And uh, <laughs> I need a red, please. Can I have a red, a nice bright red? Uh, looks like an upside down snowman's head. Does it? You're right, you know. We were talking earlier about how to get a snowman. There's the shape. Now the only problem with this circular shape here for the balloon is that it's got these lines on, these reflective lines, which look great on a balloon and also look great for a metal robot. But actually, I mean, you can't really use that shape for much else. Okay. And this guy we're just going to have up here. A light bulb. Well, it does look like a light bulb. And then we're going to... Just use this tail again. Yellow, orange. Where's that? Where's that red? Oh, just put it on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Well, I've certainly got. I haven't got a journal, but I've got lots of scraps of paper. Well, there's the videos, isn't there? There's the videos. <laughs> yeah. I've just got um. A bit on oh, there. Monica, that would be just too easy. Just, you could just use a pen. He likes a challenge. <laughs> to be honest, I could get a pen and just draw them. But, you know. Where's the fun in that, hey? Oh, Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> yeah. Have we got a Nino, Nino stamp? Have they done that one yet? A piggy keeping his chin warm. <laughs> <laughs> you can interpret it however you wish. I'm quite happy. Um, but to me, it looks like a little robot. And you see, if you, if you just cut that off there, that'd be his little neck. <laughs> it's it reminds to be a me. Robot. <laughs> it reminds just, me. Just say it. It reminds me of um, a little bit, you see, of a character called Mega Man. The old retro Mega Man, he used to have a helmet with that kind of... No, not Mega Man, Bomber Man. Of course. Have you ever played Bomber Man 64? Or was it Mega... There we go, Mega Bomber Man from the Mega Drive, uh, which was the Sega Genesis in America. So there we go, that's my little robot face. I think you just lost half my audience there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to stick these back on. We've got two more to do. Two more? Two more. Wow. But these... These are... Are you going to do them both together? Can you do them both? Can, can I? Well, yeah, they've got to go together, really, haven't they? Lovely. There's your clue. Mm. There's your clue. Another hair. Well, we'll see how these turn out. I might not say what they're meant to be. Thank you. You need that? Uh, I might not say who they're meant to be. Who them? Oh, they gave you a clue there. Um, here we go. Right, let's do... Uh, let's do... Let's do the person on this side first. So what, uh, yeah, we need this one first. Oh yeah, you've just put that on there. You? <laughs> okay. So we're going to, uh, we're just gonna use this, but not the very end. Where's that? You keep moving that cloth. I need it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to make my table damp if you. Oh, can. sorry. Um, right. I'm going to sip of my hot lemon. Okay. We need the uh, eyes. So, if you think of using this to use those create those eyes. The one on the left from, from 
that our perspective here is bigger than the one on the right. So I'm always using the one on the on the left because it just gives a bit more room Night, Mom. for the eyeball. And uh, that was a bit too much. I'm just going to move this here because then I can see directly from above how much. Because you don't want to get too much. Okay. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Not perfect. Of course, we can use the old trick of just flipping it over if. That's going to be okay. That's going to be okay. We can, we can see what that is meant to be. Okay. Can you tell what it is yet? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Now we need a nose. For the nose, we're going to use... Do you think I should have the mouth open or closed, May? Uh, Ruth, sorry. I have to say, I, I get names wrong all the time here. In this house today i think i called ethan <laughs> what did i call ethan i think i called him may and Jaden. or yeah i think i called him mum i said mum Jaden, ethan <laughs> okay we need the nose so to make the nose we're going to use the top one side one side not the top side one side of the heart is it a vulture says martina Tell you what, Martina. <laughs> it could be. It's got the sticky out nose. Yep. But that's okay. Uh, next we need a little bit of hair. And uh where 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 there? This uh Bert and Ernie? This person does only have a little bit of hair. Where's that? Where's the grass? Where's the grass? No, this is it. This is the grass. Okay. okay. So we're going to... So we want about that much hair, but we actually only want to do... Just the very tip of the hair, because this person... Move that up so they can see what you're doing. Oh, sorry. This person... Doesn't have much hair, do they, Ruth? It's not even that, I'd say. Yeah, I think you're right. There you go, a little bit of hair. Now we're going to... We want to do the frames of the glasses. Oh. So we're going to use this uh, balloon one. I want to cover here. So I want to be able to stamp like that mm -hmm. and not worry about it overlapping. Can I just have a bit of... <laughs> Something there. Thank you. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Awesome. So, uh, so we'll just get a little An bit. Antita. Tell you what, I'm, I'm going to be. Is it Wallace? Losing some friends tonight, you know. <laughs> uh, here we go. Those birds, but can't recall the name. <laughs> From Wallace and Cormac, says Janine. Go. Actually, uh, I'm going to give you a big clue. It's much closer to home than uh, than that. Let's give some eyes. Let's put that on there. Move that out of the way. The minion. Oh, What's that? Tom, the superhero. <laughs> you know what? I should that gives me an idea as well for a, for an outfit. But um, okay, we're gonna open mouth or closed mouth. What do you think? Closed mouth. Closed mouth. So we're gonna use the balloon again for the closed mouth. I'm just gonna give a little smile. So we just want the just a little. Being a little dandy character. Yeah, no, I, I could be, you know. A self portrait. I think you might be right. Yeah, that's Diane. 
Yeah, other people had got it right already. Hey, there we go. That's so, fun. uh, now I could put an ear on. Should I put an ear on? Do you think it needs an ear? That's a big ear. Yeah, I know, but there's... I could give a little ear, couldn't I? I could yeah, give a you, little you ear. Got big ears. I've got big ears. So let's put some little ears on. Just one. Janine says you need a cape now. A what? Cape. A cape? I thought you said a cake. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Get me a cake. So we're just going to put that there. There we go. And uh, to be honest, you could probably, if he was a little bit higher, you could probably, if you could give him a neck, you could certainly use that uh, string, couldn't you, from the, maybe that way around, which is just right, yeah. the string to give the impression of a cape flowing out. From there, couldn't you? But so there you go. So there's there's me. Now, who's this going to be? <laughs> All right. Now I've got to get this right. Oh, I could be in trouble. Right. Let's see. Um, that we we use that towards the end. The first thing I'm going to do is use this. Here we go. All right. Wish me luck, everybody. There's a lot riding on this. <laughs> uh, the atmosphere could be could be difficult if I don't get this right. Okay. Here we go. There we go. There's one. So the first thing we're doing is hair. So we're just using that uh, that string, and each time we're bringing it up and out a little bit. The hair is the hardest thing to do. Probably that's a little bit. It probably could do with coming down a bit more. There we go. Um, but, uh, you know, I was thinking about this earlier and, uh, let's have a look. Now we want to do a fringe. Um, and I'm going to turn this around cause I think this from this side of the ink pad, um, but actually I need it that way. I need to think that way, don't I? Yeah. And, uh, one of the things I was thinking about a comic I used to really enjoy reading when I was a teenager, I've kind of, my tastes have changed over the years, but um, one thing I still like about that comic is the artwork, quite by a guy called uh, Jaime Hernandez. And uh, that's a bit too much, but never mind. So do a little bit less for the one above it. And he, his art is just great. And what you learn is that uh, you don't need to draw every line in order for, when you're drawing a face, in order for people to see a face. Because the brain kind of fills stuff in. Let's do one more. Uh, just for the top of the head. Your life is in your hands, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right there. I'm feeling it. Okay, so we're going to draw a face and we're not going to put all the lines in. Uh, we're going to let our brains fill fill in the gaps. Um, I need the eyes. Where, can you, where are the eyes? Can you see the eyes? Janine says it looks like her husband. Oh, there we go. Yeah, well, we've just done the hair so far, mm. so... I've never had hair like that, I've got to say. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the eyes. Better make sure these are level. There you go, level enough. Now we're going to do the nose. And we're going to use the heart again for the nose, but this time... The nose is going to be a little bit more 
dainty. Oh, there it is. Thank you. So whereas mine kind of hooked over this one, we are really just, really just going for the very edge. Because my nose doesn't hook. Okay. Is it true that the nose never stops growing? There we go. Now, uh, I think we're going to go for, do you want an open mouth or a closed mouth, Ruth? You, usually, <laughs> usually your mouth's open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm either eating or speaking. Uh, so I think we'll go for a, a happy, smiley mouth. Oh, ears don't stop growing. Ears don't stop growing. Which I think I've just... That's yeah. what Helen says. There's oh, no right. hope for me then, is there? I've inherited my father's ears. There we go. And last but not least. Sue both thinks it's both. It's what? Yeah, the unknowns don't stop growing. So now we're going to... This bit I haven't really got right yet. So, but I think we only need just that little bit there. Can you see that? And uh, and there you have it. I think probably could do another little line up there, but I don't want to. That's about as good as I've got so far. We probably do with maybe some more lines for the hair just to make it darker, or we could use a crayon, or a, you know. But there you go. So uh, very good. There is. So you've got Tom your... and Ruth, yeah. and uh, obviously. I'll be making a card at some point where we do mix and match. <laughs> <laughs> mix and match uh, bodies. That'd be funny. So this is the story of a frog kissed by the princess mm -hmm. who became a handsome Monkey. prince. <laughs> uh, there we go. So there you have it. So those Tom are... is a genius, says oh, Janine. Kind. You are kind, Janine. And uh, I do have some, I'm working on some more monster ideas. Do you think you're uh, very precise in your stamping? Yeah he's, yeah, he's like the antithesis of my type of stamping, isn't he? So, uh, there you go. Uh, is that all I've done? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, there we go. Look at that. When's our anniversary? Only joking. I know when it is. Mm -hmm. when? Yeah. Next when? year. Next year. Yeah. <laughs> In what month? April. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same date it was this year. Same date it was this <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah. Which will be hopefully on the calendar. <laughs> so uh, there you yeah. are. There we uh, go. Well done. Everybody. Thank you, everybody, thank you. for watching. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Hope you uh, enjoyed that. And uh, watch this space. Yep, so there uh, we go. Menagerie mix-up. Menagerie mix-up. Yeah, you are the antithesis of me, really. You've used <laughs> one stamp set. <laughs> uh, and that is it. Yeah. Whereas I use, like, five. And yeah. I just... I have no precision technique. <laughs> Do you think they'll ever make another one like that? Stamp set where there's all it's just like loads and loads of yeah, well face parts. Um, there's one called Hippo Happiness that Liz has got, and she said that it'd be nice to see what you can do with that. Which one? I'm just gonna find it. Hippo I'm not quite sure what else you could do with it. No, yeah, I'm not sure. That one. Oh, wow. So it's 
So you meant to stamp that one on top of that. Yeah. To get these sort of like. Okay. I have thought about the um, for the you know the you get the thing that cuts out the shape, and then you the punch. Yeah. Um, or the dies to go that. The dies. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, the dies. Because the dies. See, if you can stick one shape on another, mm -hmm. then you can create a bit more depth and have creatures with jetpacks and that sort of thing. That's the idea I started coming up with. But it's jet very packs. difficult to do when you've got to precisely stamp it. Well, you, you stamp it and then you cut it out. So. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, I see, because you've got just those shapes there. Yeah. That sounds very... Um... See, when I read that for the first time, I think it's quite sad. <laughs> when actually dies. When actually dies. But... Um... Oh, dear. Yeah. Are we ever going to just make a koala bear and a cat? Or a rabbit? I think if I got the dies, then I would think... I think it would create more options. But probably not to make anything that I'm supposed to. <laughs> well, you could have a well, play with go. all my punches. I've got loads of different shaped punches. Well, I'm I'm kind of I'm a one stamp set guy. You know? <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, <laughs> right. Liz says she's got the dies of these. Okay. So they cut out the hippo yeah. sheep. And the... He, Liz, he likes making his own stuff up. That's the problem. Yeah. I like little oh, things. Oh, yeah, I could get it things. for your birthday. There we go. I could get you the die set for your birthday. Yeah. There you go. I think he's had his birthday present That's already. Right. I probably have. But um, there we are. Brilliant. Right. There we go. Thank you, everybody. Lovely yes. to see you all. Thank you. And uh, what do you say now? Good, good night. Good Goodbye. Night. Good night. Yeah, good night, everybody. See you all soon. Bye. Oh, there's Ethan. <laughs>